Hello writers, my name is John M. Campbell and recently I won first place in the Writers of the Future contest. So that means this fall I'm going to Hollywood for the big awards gala. After entering a story in the contest a couple of years ago, which actually uh, was rejected by the way, I received an invitation uh, to take the free Writers of the Future online workshop. From the convenience of my home computer, I read the materials and viewed the videos, and I really appreciated the practical, clearly stated presentations on what makes a story compelling and publishable. Orson Scott Card, the author of Ender's Game, one of my favorite books, had a video where he uses his book to illustrate how to turn an interesting idea into a compelling story. In that video, he also analyzes a story by L. Ron Hubbard to show how the author made the mundane discovery of a lost hat into a com an intriguing mystery and finally a satisfying ending. Card reveals that stories generally fall into four categories. There's the idea story that answers the question posed by the story. There's the event story where something deeply wrong happens and the hero must solve the issue to bring his world back into equilibrium. Then there's the character story, which is a subset of the event story where the event affects the hero's role in life in particular, and he must correct it to get back to normal. And finally, there's the milieu story, where the hero is swept off somewhere and returns, something like the Wizard of Oz. And in each of these types of stories, the author takes the reader on a ride that uh, cre creates the promise of something interesting at the beginning and then by the end creates a satisfying resolution to that problem. Another of the workshop modules that I really liked was by Algis Budris. He was an, a, a science fiction writer and the first judge and editor of the Writers of the Future contest. And he reveals the seven parts of a perfect story. Uh, I really liked that idea and I use this, uh, these seven parts now to check my own stories against and to help the members of my critique group identify where their stories could be improved. After that module, the current Writers of the Future contest editor, David Farland, uh, appears in a video that expands on the seven parts of the perfect story with his own insights and, and he talks about the essential parts of a compelling story from his point of view. In addition, there are interesting modules that address the use of dialogue, uh, constructing characters and settings, the role of conflict in the story, and how to end a story well. I also enjoyed an excellent module on the creation and use of suspense. So for writers looking to improve their craft, I really recommend the Writers of the Future online workshop. It's really worth the time and effort, and it's free.